Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I'm going to be doing a video talking about some of my favourite book quotes. I have so many, I do love a book quote. I'm not one of those people that remembers, like if you read a quote to me I probably wouldn't be able to tell you where it was from, even if it was from one of my favourite books. But I do enjoy kind of going back over book quotes, definitely. Um, I have ten here that I want to talk about, some of them a bit more obscure than others, but I hope that you enjoy this video anyway. So the first one I want to say is actually from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl, which is one of my favourite children's books. And the quote, I'm going to have to look at the phone and read it because it's not a short quote. It says, so please, oh please, we beg, we pray, go throw your TV set away, and in its place you can install a lovely bookshelf on the wall, then fill the shelves with lots of books. And I think that's really nice because I do feel like a lot of the time, especially nowadays, I feel like an old lady saying that, but a lot of the time we do kind of watch TV and, um, you know, do things digitally and I really like that kind of old-fashioned having a bookshelf full of books I'm really I kind of feel a bit weird filming right now without having my bookshelf behind me because it's like my comfort blanket and I love my bookshelf and I can't wait to get it reinstalled uh, into my house because right now it's in my flat waiting to be delivered <laughs> so yeah I'm really I love that quote so much the next one I believe is not actually from a book, I think it's just a quote that the author said, um, and that was JK Rowling, um, who obviously is one of my favourite authors, and she said, books are like mirrors, if a fool looks in, you cannot expect a genius to look out. And I don't know why, but something about that just really talks to me, because I also think it's one of those things where different people get different things from books, and I think that's true, so yeah, I like that quote a lot. As you may have noticed from previous videos, there's usually a dog that joins me, and today he has also decided that that is the case. So, number three is from The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and it says, Sometimes you read a book and it fills you with this weird evangelical zeal, and you become convinced that the shattered world will never be put back together unless and until all living humans read the book. And then there are books like An Imperial Affliction, which you can't tell people about, books so special and rare and yours that advertising your affection feels like betrayal. And I've definitely felt both of those things there are books that I would shout about to the rooftop because I want everyone to read and there are some books that you just kind of want to keep to yourself because you don't want to hear negative like opinions on the book um I was a bit like that with Louise Candlish in general originally when I first read The Disappearance of Emily Marr I absolutely loved that book and I really didn't want anyone to be like why do you like this book I hate it um but now I'm like I don't mind sharing it so much now but at the time I was just like I want to keep this all to myself the fourth one is a quote from a book that I didn't actually like but I did enjoy this quote and it is from 1984 by George Orwell and the quote is the best books are those that tell you what you know already and I think that's kind of talking about reading books from your own experience or books that have you in them like I know a lot that's a big deal for, especially for people who are diversity in the books they read in terms of seeing themselves in books and I think it's more important that that's happening more and more recently um, I do think it's still got a long way to go but I really like like the idea of like about books that it's like reading yourself in a book isn't it it's that nice like comforting ideal um so yeah i think that's a great quote number five is another john green quote i do like his quotes and it's from looking for alaska so i'm having to look down because the dog is like holding my arm down with the phone so i can't actually look up with it so he, it says have you really read all those books in your room alaska laughing oh god no i've maybe read a third of them but i'm going to read them all i call it my life's library every summer since i was little i've gone to garage sales and bought all the books that looked interesting so i always have have something to read and if that's not me I don't know what is I literally will buy anything from a, like a charity shop or a, a, you know whatever and I don't keep books so every book on my shelf pretty much is um, unread and I kind of love it because it means I never run out of books to read no matter what happens there'll be something there um, so yeah that's a great quote <laughs> number six is another quote that didn't come specifically from a book but it was by Philip Pullman who I believe wrote the um the northern lights trilogy um it says we don't need a list of rights and wrongs tables of do's and don'ts we need books time and silence thou shalt not is soon forgotten but once upon a time lasts forever and i think that speaks for itself it's definitely true and then the final one i thought i had 10 i don't i think i have about seven or eight there um is by judy bloom again it's not one from my specific book i don't believe but it is let children read whatever they want and then talk about it with them if parents and kids can talk together we won't have as much censorship because we won't have as much fear and i think that is such a beautiful quote and a lovely life lesson as well like it's important i think to talk to children about things and um, obviously i'm not talking about like talking about sex to a three-year-old but 
I definitely think, you know, if, if children ask and they're interested and they want to know, um, not necessarily, like I said, not talking about sex necessarily, but other things, um, I definitely think it's important. I think that's where you stop bigotry and you stop people having kind of prejudiced views because you just don't have that. Do you know what I mean? It's not there anymore. So yeah, that for me is definitely one of the best quotes and I think Judy Bloom is amazing anyway and I love her books and I read them as a kid so I think that that really just talks for itself really. So yeah that is some of my favourite book quotes, let me know what some of yours are, I do love to hear all different ones and um, you know where they're from. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to make a video like this do let me know or um, tag me on Twitter or you can link it down below for me and I'll go and watch it. Until my next video have a great time guys, bye bye. <laughs>